Um, so my name is Chris Maddox. I'm the CEO of Seneca Systems. We build Romulus. It's a CRM for local government. Um, and I'm going to talk to you today about thinking small. We hear a lot about big ideas, and especially in the civic tech space, about democracy and freedom and a lot of those things uh, that Mar Marcy was just talking about that constituents care a lot about. They're very sexy problems. They look really good on TechCrunch. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I don't believe that that's how we're going to solve uh, democracy. So um, we built Romulus based on uh, failures of, of our own. We went into City Hall in, in San Francisco, and we had this great idea. We were talking about paper forms. I used to work at a payroll company. And we said, you know, wouldn't it be great if we just took away all those PDFs, all those paper forms, and we digitized them? And you could have all this structured data coming in, and you could analyze it, you could map it. Just imagine what you could do with it. And they were like, what? I don't know what I would do with it. Like, we have, like, I would just type it into this computer, and then, like, I don't know where it would go. And we were like, okay, shit. Like, they have a much different problem, right? We were providing our solutions as Silicon Valley technologists to their problem, which was not actually what they needed. Uh, there are 10 and a half million people that work in local government across the United States. So we started by thinking small. If we can save them just one hour a week, that's two and a half percent of their time. We can re re-engage people. We can unlock 278,000 years of human potential every 12 months. 278,000 years of human potential by saving them one hour a week. And goddamn, there's a lot more than an hour a week to be saved from the people that we've talked to. So I want to encourage you. I know it's really, it's, it's exciting. And in Silicon Valley, we get real excited. We're like, oh, like, what's the problem? OK, what are we going to do? And it, Sam, like, I, love, I love the idea of like, OK, like our state's kind of screwed up. What are we going to do? Let's split it in six pieces. And that's a big idea. But ultimately, what we need to move forward is not blockchains. We need people solving the unsexy little problems that 10 and a half million people go through every single day. It's hard. It doesn't look good on Hacker News all the time. But that's OK. Because to solve real problems, we can't bring our solutions to their problems. It's what Tim said. When you go into a government and you hope that they ask you, how can I help make your life better? As civic technologists, that's the approach that we have to take from now on. Going in and sitting down with them and saying, what can I do for you? What are the problems that you have every day? A lot of them are those boxes of papers. A lot of them are Excel spreadsheets that they don't know what to do with. They don't know why they input information into a computer. They don't know what the cloud is. They don't really care. They have very simple problems, and they really need your help. So I'd encourage you guys to think small. Go and talk to your local representatives. Talk to somebody in government and understand at a human level what their problem is. Because at the end of the day, the hardest problems are people problems. Thank you.